what to do with your brine. We're on a bit of a fermentation theme kick here. The last few videos have all had this theme and it was, in fact, it was one of the staff that was helping me uh, film the last video who asked, how do you make those pickled eggs that we had in the brine? And I was like, oh yeah, it's been a while since we've uh, offered those. And I shared with her in probably uh, about 10 seconds on how to make those. And that's what I want to share with you is if you enjoy, if you utilize eggs as a snack, there's a very, very easy, quick recipe that you can apply uh, at home, uh, putting them into the fermented brine, especially after you're done a bottle of sauerkraut, something like this, right? You're gonna enjoy that cabbage, and usually always you're gonna be left over with some liquid in there. We always put lots of brine in there to make sure that that kraut is gonna last, it's gonna have that shelf life, keep it perfectly good, and you're gonna be left over some brine. Now there's a number of things you can do with the brine. I've done lots of videos before. You can uh, you know, add it to soups, adds that nice kind of sour kick with some probiotics. Typically, instead of cooking it into the soup, I'll do it right at the end, just as a splash, to bring that extra little flavor and that hit of probiotics. You can also use the brine as as a, a digestive aid, right? A little shot before a meal or after a meal or during a meal. You can also use it when you get that little tickle in the throat, right? Gargle with it, cleanse the mouth. The salt as well as the probiotics are gonna help. Now, many, many, many other uses and we do in fact also offer the brine as is. We've got our sweet pepper brine back in stock and then we're gonna have some plain and simple sauerkraut brine as well as beet kvass brine coming. Uh, I know the sweet pepper was a real hit the last time we had it, so it's back, it's available. People like to use it just as is. But in this video, I wanna share with you what do you do with that leftover brine, in particular, how to pickle eggs in it. And it's super, super simple. So you basically, you hard boil some eggs, however many you want. Maybe you just try with one to start, to get a sense of it. So you hard boil them, cook them all the way through, peel that egg, well let it cool, because that's hard, it's hard to peel a hot egg, but uh, you let it cool, peel that off, and then literally just drop it in the brine. Make sure that whole thing is submerged, and then you put it back in the fridge, and then let it sit for a couple of days, and what's gonna happen is that brine is gonna penetrate all the way through the egg and pickled it, and now you've got probiotic pickled eggs. Now, if it's a plain brine, you can leave it that way. Uh, the staff member had asked, she's like, how did you make them purple? It's like, well, easy. We just actually put them in a purple kraut brine or the beet kvass brine, and then that color comes through. If you want any particular flavors, like we talked about in the last video, you can add those flavors at pickling as well. So drop the eggs in, your choice of spices, or just leave plain, let it sit for a few days. And again, that, those eggs, as long as they're in the brine, will last a long, long time. They make a nice, quick, easy snack that you can eat as is, you can chop them up, put them on a sandwich. I mean, the options are endless and the application, the creation of them is super, super easy.